Hi everybody, it's Pastor Rob from Rose Park Baptist Church in Holland, Michigan. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. This is time for your midday Bible break. Today we're in the book of Numbers, Numbers chapter 11 and verse 1. Very important subject today about complaining. The Bible says in Numbers chapter 11 and verse 1, and when the people complained, it displeased the Lord. My, I don't ever want to hear that said about me. I don't ever want the Lord to look down and say, you know, I don't like what he's saying. I don't like all that grumbling and fussing and complaining. Let me finish that Bible verse. And when the people complained, it displeased the Lord. And the Lord heard it, and his anger was kindled. And the fire of the Lord burnt among them and consumed them that were in the uttermost parts of the camp. My friend, let's give a couple things here today. Number one, uh, life is very uneasy right now. Life is very different right now. But that gives, the, uh, gives us no reason, no excuse to be a complainer, a whiner, a grumbler, and a complainer. The Bible says God's listening. God's listening to everything we say. And my friend, I, I want what I say to please the Lord. I don't want what I say to displease the Lord. I want God to be happy with what I say, not unhappy with what I say. I want God to know that there's somebody on this earth uh, that understands he's good, he's gracious, he's kind, he's wonderful, he's merciful. His, uh, his mercies are new every morning. You know, no matter how crazy life gets, no matter how discouraging life gets, no matter how different life gets, you know, God is always good. God is good all the time, and all the time God is good. And so, my friends, let's not be a whiner. Let's not be a complainer. Let's not be a grumbler. Let's not be a whiner. Let's make sure that we are the one pleasing the Lord. We're the ones uh, thankful. We're the ones grateful. We're the ones praising. God's people ought to have God's praises on their lips. God's people ought to be the ones showing forth and shining forth an attitude of gratitude. So my friends, the next time you're tempted to, to whine and grumble and complain about everything's different and you can't go out to eat and you can't find toilet paper and now you got to stand in the line just to go into Walmart, remember that little verse there in Numbers chapter 11 and verse 1 where it says, and the people complained and it displeased the Lord. Oh, my friends, let's have a heart never to displease the Lord. Well, I hope this has been a blessing and an encouragement to you. Until we meet again, let's keep looking unto Jesus.